Hello bookkeepers and accountants. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the latest release from Zoho, which is Zoho Practice. So if you're a bookkeeper or an accountant and you have clients, that they happen to have Zoho, you can use Zoho Practice to be able to run your business. Now I say practice management because it would be very familiar if you use something like Zero Practice Manager, and if you understand how that works, then you're easily gonna understand how Zoho Practice works. So let's dive in. So just a quick overview, we're gonna go through some of the features. You've got a way to do client management. You can manage client collaboration and information sharing between you and the client. You can roll up some of the summary data from their Zoho Books Insights and be able to understand some of the metrics that are running, operating behind their business. You can manage tasks internally or in collaboration with your customers. You can track your time and then ultimately put that into your billings. You can share source documentation. You can customize fields and records for your clients. You can integrate with other Zoho apps. You can automate some of the messaging and notifications. And for audit control, there is an activity and change log. Okay, now we're on the home page. You can see here we've got some analytics, some calendar, some tasks, or you've got your active client lists, you've got client requests, your task progress to make sure you're on top of things. You can see unbuilt tasks and task status. You can easily search for clients and information using the search bar at the top. You can quickly add new records by using the plus button at the top right where you've got clients, client request, add a user or tasks. Now I only have a test account and I've not got any data on it in it. We are just going through a walkthrough or an unboxing here today. If you think this is useful, please give me a subscribe, smash that like button and let's crack on. Okay, so on the task record, you can go and create a client, in which case you'll just be able to put in their client information and just see if they're a current client or you can create a Zoho account for them. If you already have Zoho Books users, you can import those clients here. Client requests is kind of like something that they've asked you to do. So if I go in here and click client requests, it's going to have a little bit of a document on this side where potentially they're asking you to add a journal entry, write off a bill, or something like that. Insights, once you've got customer data in the system, is gonna drag through some guidance on perhaps how long they've stuck around for, how they're using the platform, and we'll give you some insights into your customer. Task is pretty simple, but it's kind of one of the things necessary to be enable time tracking. So you can create the task, you can assign it to one of your team, you can give it a priority, and you can set reminders. Now you can build task templates and have things run automatically just a little bit. Time tracking is very simple. You've got a couple of ways to do it. You can start a timer and then associate it to a particular task and add your notes. Or if you want, you can log time using the time entry form, which is quite simple. And weekly time log, if you wanna do it in the spreadsheet format, you can do that as well. And you would just then associate the task, put in the time entry and whether or not it's billable. You have somewhere to share source documentation with your client. And lastly, you've got your activity logs where you can see everything that's happened in the platform for your audit control and your responsibility. If I go quickly into the settings in the top right, I've got the gear icon and we can have a look. I can update my organizational profile where I put in my business details. I can update preferences for tasks such as adding custom fields, statuses, and templates. I can add custom fields to contact records. I can update notifications and email reminder templates. I can set user permissions and roles to allow my team to help me. I can integrate with other Zoho products, such as Zoho Books, Zoho Signed, or Zoho Mail. And if you're a technical user, you can use the developer space. So that's a quick overview of Zoho Practice. And as you can see, it's very similar to something like a Zero Practice Manager. Yes, that's hard to say when you've got the two names, Zoho Zero, etc. But look, if you're confused about this or any other Zoho product, come and join us in the community. That is community.relevate.com.au and the link will be in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of it. Please let us know in the comments. Thank you. Take care.